always bring a backpack with me whenever I leave the house. And I always bring my laptop and stuff with it. I don't know why, I just always feel like if I ever need to touch anything up on YouTube or get internet access, like I'll always have the opportunity to do that. Also, Hydro Flask always key. filling up this car because this car literally has the biggest gas tank in the world and gas prices are up right now that's why i'm dying for my brz to be done because the moment the brz is done i can start using 85 and 85 is literally half the price of like normal gas i can never resist getting drinks when i go to gas stations i'm gonna try not to get a monster i'm gonna try to do a gatorade or something more healthy there's nothing good here I said I wouldn't get a monster. I didn't say I wouldn't get a NOS. What do we got? I don't want to gamble with something gross. Let's get this. Taking the wrap off this car was literally the best decision I've ever done for this car. It looks so much better. I don't know why you guys let me wrap it in the first place. Am I the only one who leaves like a bucket of change in their car? I don't know when I'm ever going to use that, but I always tell myself when the time comes that I need change, I'm going to have it. Hopefully today I find the time to wash my car because Jesus, that looks ugly. And Ariana is literally a mess right now. Shut your hole. Shut your hole. I feel like a noob because I can't get rid of these goddamn like maintenance warnings. There is no maintenance to do on this car. I do everything myself, so I don't ever like scan it off. So these are always coming up, but I can't figure out how to clear it. And your boy's got a service engine light. I feel ratchet. I have to hit this every time I get in my car to clear that stupid screen. It's just that O2 sensor. I need to get it fixed, and I know that, but it, the install to do it is just, it's... It's a nightmare. I'm being completely lazy, to be honest. I need to do that. This one right here is for all the pros who come back every day to see the videos. This isn't for everyone who comes back like maybe once or twice a week. This isn't for everyone who comes back maybe three or four times a week. This is for everyone who comes back every single day to check up on the vlogs. I don't even remember the last time I was here. I think it was back when I was in school. I remember right here, I always used to angle it. I always would scape right here. Oh, I made it. I mean, obviously by the title of this video, you know what it's about. I haven't talked about this. I, I, just, I haven't been ready to talk about this, I guess. I don't know why. Not that it really matters. Oh, the old stomping grounds. I think there's a sign over here. I'm gonna try and get a picture with it, with the car. I'm not allowed to park here, but I think it should be okay. I'm gonna air out like an asshole. All for the thumbnail. I'm gonna move the car in front of the school sign. Maybe it'll look a little bit better. That thumbnail though. I totally just got in the way of this mom trying to get graduation photos with her daughter. Sorry. All the OGs who have been watching the vlogs you should remember this parking lot. I'm gonna park where I always used to park too. I used to have all my science classes right here. I spent so much time in this goddamn building. And it is a Sunday, so I don't think anyone's gonna be here. And everyone just had finals like this past week. So technically everyone's on summer. So I don't think we'll even see anybody here. Saving the planet, one energy drink at a time. My last like year at the school, I actually was always earning into a bunch of subscribers. I missed that. And I don't think I've, I haven't vlogged here since the last time I was in school. But I wanted to talk to you guys today, just to kind of like share this side of my life that I didn't talk about. And it wasn't because I was like, I don't know. I just wasn't ready to share it with y'all for whatever reason that was. But I guess today I'm gonna answer all your questions. Lol, I'm still connected to the student Wi-Fi here. First student spotted, walking solo, poor man. All right, I'm gonna try to go into this old building. Is it considered breaking in if like school is kind of still? I mean, it's not considered breaking in. I'm still kind of a student, maybe. I used to walk these stairs every day. Oh, it's locked. Damn. All right, I'm gonna try the first floor. Try number two. Oh, it's open. Oh, okay. No one in here. Holy shit, this is my first time in a classroom in forever. Okay, let's have a talk. 
I normally would sit in the back, like the back corner. That was like my place. Hopefully no one's gonna use this classroom in the next 10 minutes or so. When I started YouTube, I was still in school. I did it for, I, did, I started it pretty much freshman year of college. I went to this school and I did it for nearly, I did YouTube for about a year. Once after a year doing YouTube, that's when everything started to pick up. Everything started to grow. It started to become an actual like serious thing that I made a big, I made it a big point in my life to be dedicated to this because I love doing it. And I always knew there was a potential as a form of a career. That's when it started to become a thing for me. I was in school for nursing, so I was going through maybe about six or seven years of school. And I think I finally stopped after about the end of the third year. So I was going into my senior year of college. Not until about after my second year doing YouTube. That's when I started to juggle traveling a lot and doing the uploads three times a week and never missing it. And it was always hard. It was always hard to balance getting my schoolwork done and filming cool, fun content for you guys. And just for me to enjoy it. It was always hard because I was worrying about class. And that was at that time. And that was my goal. I was like, I'm gonna graduate, I'm gonna do this, and YouTube's always gonna be a fun thing that I'll always have. After my junior year of college, that's when YouTube actually started to be real for me, meaning that like I could see myself making a living off of this. That really started to impact my focus in school, my drive for school, my drive for everything. It made me rethink everything. I never thought I would do that. Dude, these hallways are a ghost town. I don't know why I'm whispering, I just feel like I should, I've always whispered in these halls. And although it looks empty, I don't think I should be raising my voice. And the more that I'm here, the more I realize, God, I hated this place. One thing that always tripped me out is this bridge we're about to cross, get to the parking garage, would bounce and wobble as you walked through the middle of it. I don't think it was till the point where I made more money on YouTube than I would have as if I would have graduated and been in nursing at a hospital. That's when it clicked for me. This is where the labs are. I doubt this is gonna be open, but we're gonna try. This is where I spent way too much time. All these pizzas right here are probably from Dr. P's class. Shout out to Dr. P. He used to always get pizza for everybody. I'll try the first floor. And it's all closed. Rip. I enjoyed do making car videos and being involved with cars way more than I did with medicine, which was really scary at that time. Once my junior year ended, I went on to do all the normal trips I always do. Pittsburgh, Boston, Florida. I got to hang out with all you guys, I got to make really amazing content, and everything on YouTube just got better and better and better. Then came senior year. I went to my first class, which was actually right down there. I don't remember what it was, but it was some like bullshit class I didn't really need. The only classes that I took were just like medical classes, some GEs, I never took business, never did law, never did any of that type of stuff. And I think the class was a two hour class. As she was introducing the syllabus and showing us things that we were gonna need to do throughout the like semester and all that stuff, I started to like compare every essay, every project, I was like, okay, that's gonna take me like X amount of hours, that's gonna take me X amount of hours, and I added it all up. And once I think the amount of work got to like, over 35 hours in the first like, couple weeks, I was like, fuck, like, how am I gonna make YouTube videos? How am I gonna go do this, that? How am I gonna have time for this and so? How am I gonna meet up with this person, do this and that? And that's gonna impede on this travel day that I have and all this stuff. I think I lasted about 40, less than 50 minutes. I excused myself from the table and I left. Mid everything, I closed all my books and I left. And I walked out of that class knowing I would never sit in a classroom ever again. That was it for me. 50 minutes sitting in that class. The whole entire time I thought about how this is not where I wanted to be, how this would not help my YouTube career, how this would not help grow Hutton Company, how this would limit me from learning all these things I'm currently learning from making videos and having business meetings and being exposed to new things every day through videos that I share with you guys. And it's not that I'm against learning or I'm against college, cause, cause I'm not. So you have the car with you right now. Around two o'clock, is it manual or is it stick? All right, all right, I was gonna say, Kevin, if you got another automatic car, I'm gonna beat your ass. It's manual, has 320 horsepower. Is it sedan or is it coupe? It's a sedan. I have, I have two guesses, I'm gonna say my first guess. A335 BMW. My second guess, sedan man. Can you tell me what year it is? It's new, WRX. I'll see you at two o'clock. On this channel, I'm always talking about how the time is now and you should never wait or sit on, it, on anything. I firmly believe that. That's why I decided that was the ultimate thing for me was I don't ever wanna look back. Like let's say I stayed in school and I, I finished out. I never wanna look back and be like, what if I went for it on YouTube? What if I actually like invested in everything that I was putting my time into at the time? Like what could have happened? That thought would kill me. It would ruin me. I, I didn't want that. I didn't want that for myself. And my sister has her PhD. My brother and sister both went to UCSD. 
So schooling's big in my family. I'm the first person not to quote unquote graduate. I'm the first person who didn't do that. I'm all for doing what you love and making that your passion. And I didn't wanna miss up on the opportunity of blowing this chance. And I decided that I would work harder on YouTube, start uploading every single day, work way, way, way harder on the company, build more product, learn more, do as much learning as I can. Because I never took any classes for this in college. Everything that I know today is from out there going, it's from going out there and just doing it. For my type of learning, that's better for me. Sitting in class, it's all memorization for me. I do better when I'm forced to live with it and learn it. And since I decided to not go to school and focus on YouTube, I did 300,000 subscribers, I think more than that in one year. Bought my dream car, which is a GTO, which is why I brought it here today. This is my first time bringing this car to this campus. That's why I took it to the front, got a picture with it, because that's just like, it's almost like a reminder for me, or it's almost just like a token showing that if you go for what you believe in and go for just what makes you happy, you can be just as successful as the next guy or even more successful. So bringing my dream car to the campus that I dropped out of six, seven months after the fact was huge for me. Today meant a lot and that's how I wanna share it with you guys. I'm not suggesting you to drop out. That's the last thing I'm doing. Or I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't go to school because honest to God, I don't think I would be where I am today if I didn't spend nearly four years at this university. The things that I was taught here, I'm able to apply to real life. I fully believe in college and I think that everyone should try it out. And I never thought I'd be the one to drop out. I never did. I never ever thought I would drop out. And it's scary that I did, but I'm glad that I did. Before I get my actual street bike, I need to take a class like this. They have like just like some basic motorcycles and you have to do like a cone course and they teach you how to ride a bike. But doing that, I think like allows you to pass the test, like your license test easier. And I think it makes your insurance cheaper. At least that's what I've read from you guys who like DM me about it. I need to take a class like that. But it's like a three day course and it's like five hours a day. So I'm just like, mm, I don't want to spend the time doing that. I'm a little bitch about it. But I hope that explains why bringing this car here today meant so much to me. This was kind of a hard thing for me to share with you guys, to be completely honest. I don't know if I'm in, I'm not insecure about it, but like, I don't know, it's hard doing your own thing when everyone else is following the same path. Like all my friends are graduating, all my friends are like, you know, in school and whatnot. It's scary. And it's always scary because there's always the unknown of like, well in a year, like is YouTube still gonna be around? Or in two years, are you still gonna wanna make videos on the internet and all that type of stuff? But like I said earlier, I know what I love to do right now. I wanted to invest in that. I wanted to give it my whole 100% to see what I can make of it. And so far it's been absolutely amazing. For those of you who have been on this journey with us from the start, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've seen where we have gone. You've seen who we've got to meet. You've seen the opportunities that we've been presented with. And I'm happy I did it. But don't for one second think I'm telling you it's not a little bit scary because it is but I guess that's the chance you take for getting all you ever wanted I don't know okay as I'm leaving I spot this truck holy shit insane what I need to get a picture with this I'm gonna air out to get the full effect here oh my god that truck is huge it's literally twice as tall as my car. Even more. These mud flaps look like a dress. Props to whoever you are. If you know the owner, put them in the comment section. That's sick as fuck. This Integro is trying to pull on me. Go, Integro, go! No, I'm turning. Integro, no! No! Bye, buddy. It was nice rolling with you. I'm stopping by Kyle shop really quick and I want to show his car, but, but I can't, he said I can't. It has some more modifications done to it. But this is where I did all my cage work on my 250 if you don't remember that. But if you're in like the San Diego area or Southern California, hit up Kyle's Instagram because he does a lot of good work and he does it for a good price. And this is where I got all my stuff done. I just want to stop by and say what's up because I was in the area. I don't want to like, <laughs> there, yeah, I don't want to show it. Getting it for the gram. I'm heading over to Tanner Fox's house. I haven't seen him in a while. And Tanner is a good friend of mine, so I'm gonna head over to his house, hang out for a bit, and then, and then I don't know. The day is still to be had. Whoa, Batman? I just wanna give an apology to TJ's fans right now. He's getting a fidget spinner. I wanna know the fascination. That's aluminum, and then this is like the normal plastic one. Well, this one's like mini. I guess if you have like crazy ADD, 
But yeah. like that's like coordination. I can barely touch it. Make sure Cal Calvin gets one. I'll make sure Calvin gets hooked up. Thanks, Tanner. Introduce yourself to the vlog. I'm Shay. Hi. Okay, let me see this trampoline. Okay, I'm telling you, my experience with trampolines. I think the last time I trampolined, I was like, I'm gonna be like 14. And I need myself in the face, bro. Oh, like man. straight up, need myself. We're getting TJ active out here. Oh, no. Yeah, TJ, hit the gap. Oh, wait, you oh, can. Oh, wait, can, you can front flip, bro. Wait, I didn't know you could flip. Uh -huh. Did you know you could flip? TJ, chill, bro. Is that a 360? That was a, no. No. <laughs> that was far from a 360. No, it was, that was a front flip. Oh, God. That was a 180 front flip. What are you doing? How are you doing this? I'm tired. How are you feeling? I'm gonna quit cars. Ow, I shocked myself and go to tramps. I would do that. What can you do? That one's beast, right? Yeah, that one's good. I'm tired. Okay. It's like a workout. They're just having the time of their life in there. I want to put a GoPro in there. And like, time lapse for a day. Sabrina bought a hamster like a month ago, and then she realized that she's never home, and she gave it back to Petco. Do you know what happens when you give a hamster back to Petco? What? I heard that it's like, they don't kill them, but like, they technically kill them. They put them back, like, back in boxes, and like, no, they don't resell them. True story, I heard it, it was on the internet. She killed her, she killed her own hamster. No way. I swear. So Tanner has a 2017 GTR. Oh my god. Different. It's so much different. Yeah, you, what's your exhaust called again? He has the army trick exhaust. I almost got that exhaust, but I didn't. So I'm letting Tanner drive mine, because mine's just has for JDM the whole way back with AMS 90 downpipes. It's so weird, and you notice the littlest tiny things? Yeah. Wait till you drive mine. It's like, I'm just gonna be like, oh, what the heck? My, like I said, yeah, the e-brake e slider. slider. It's so weird being driven in my car. Mine sounds mine sounds like it's louder from the inside. Dude, you it, it sounds quiet in here, right? It sounds way quiet. Yeah. Like, no, when I heard you driving, I was like, just chill the hell out. Yeah, I was like, I'm not even not even trying to be a dick right now. And you set off car alarm. You set up a car alarm. Sorry, rip, sorry. <laughs> I forgot how fast this car was. It's, it's way different than the passenger like... seat's so much different. <laughs> Fuck me, that's fast. More refined. I know, that feels like the, it's more luxurious. Going in first gear, it is different. I yeah, the like down to the first gear is a little more like jumpier. Looking like you wanted to run with me, and then he backed off. Rip. I just changed the frame rate on this camera. I just changed it to 60. It was at 30. So if you like the way the framing looks, let me know because I'll shoot it from this way. We're gonna shoot the podcast today because we're not gonna be late on it, right, Cal? We're normally late every week, but this week, if it's not up Sunday, it will be up Monday. So I'll put the link up to it one of these corners. You can go watch that video. And a surprise guest, Hunter. You were in like December vlogs. Hunter does a lot of videography now and he's been saying for a while we need to make an edit. One of these days, when I get back from Vegas, we should film something. Yeah, I'm down. So we're gonna film an episode of the podcast right now. Do we know what we want the theme to be? Who the fuck? Yes. This is your side, so <laughs> you probably did it. Side. This is your side. Are there any monsters in the fridge? Please, God, no. I think they're all drinking. Drinking, or is it drinking? I think they're all drunk. I think they're all drunk. No. <laughs> I think they're all drunk. I'll see what we got. I think they're just like the low sugar bullshit. No one likes that stuff. You gotta do it, you gotta. Hughes, that's disgusting. That's half empty, that's also disgusting. That's lit. okay. We always have like a bunch of half drinking monsters. Drinking, drunken. We always have a lot of half monsters laying everywhere. That's Sabrina calling you out. She always drinks them and leaves them half. I hate it. I'm making the podcast right now. I want your money. It will be up probably. It's so weird. Just wrapped on today's podcast. That was a good one. I liked it. What'd you guys think of the podcast topic? Good? I loved it. I think it was good. It was, it was, cool. it was a long one. That was yeah, like 45 like minutes. Like five minutes. Yeah. It was an, it was, there were some good memes. Yeah, we got stay, yeah. stay, stay to the end for a good meme. I'm giving Hunter one of the new backpacks. How much stuff? Did, oh, you got. Yeah, I got a couple shirts in here. The drop uh, coming out on the first. I'll show you some of the stuff. It's sick. You're gonna like it a lot. I'm really excited to show it to you. If you guys don't know, Hunt and Company now has a drop the first of every month. But it's like less now. Now it's like four to five, maybe five to six items are in like a full reveal. But every month there's new things coming out. This next upcoming one in like three, two and a half weeks. 
my ear. I'll show you some previews when I get some when I get some of the product in, but it's I'm really excited to share it with y'all. Okay, so remember earlier today we were at the university and Kevin called me. He was like, I got a new car, yada yada yada, and I made two guesses of what his new car was. I said it was either a new WRX or I think I said it was a 335. Sabrina despoiled it and she saw Kevin's girlfriend's Snapchat. It looks to be a new 335. So Kevin, congratulations. I'm gonna call him and say that I know what it is. He's gonna be butthurt. A 335? How did you know already? I didn't mean to see it, but it happened. Dude, congratulations. That's so sick. I saw the front bumper and I was like, yo, dude. Oh, this is a nice flow. Yeah, it's my flow. My flow. You don't refer to your hair as your flow. I refer to it as flow all the time. I finally told you guys that I dropped out of school. I didn't really talk about it from the, from at all from that point. But I was nervous to share that with you guys just because it's not something I'm proud of, but it's something it's something that I did. I, I, I don't know why I'm not proud of it. I'm not like proud of it. Like, oh, I dropped out. I never saw myself being that, but. You should be proud of it. I wanted to share that with you guys just to clear things up. And I wanted to wait till I was ready to tell you and I was ready to tell you. So, um, I yeah, I hope you guys still love me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you tomorrow. I have something special coming up in the next couple days, so stay tuned for that. If you don't know, I do daily vlogs. So I make videos every single day. So be sure to come back to this channel if you're not already. Hit that subscribe button because you'll get notifications of when I make videos. Peace out and keep moving forward. I'm feeling